Hey, Wasabi, Operation Hydroid here, and this is my PSX for All request series where I show you how to get specific games on PSX for All. These games are taken by request, so if you would like to request a video, leave it in the comment section below. And today's episode is The Legend of Dragoon on PSX for All. What you need for this video is PSX for All, the actual PlayStation 1 emulator, and the application that we're going to use to play the game. Also going to need iFile file browsing system where we will put the game in the right place. And lastly we'll need Safari download enabler. To get that we're going to have to go into Cydia, then the search tab and search Safari download enabler. It's the first tweak and it's completely free so just go ahead and install that. Okay, so to get the actual game we're going to have to go into Safari. Then in the URL we are going to... And we are going to type coolrom.com and go. So this will automatically direct you to their mobile website. And that's fine because their mobile website, I find it a lot easier to browse through than their regular website being as we're on a mobile device. So it works just fine. So don't be alarmed when it sends you to the mobile website. Okay, so as you can see, we have emulators and ROM files. We're going to click on ROM files. And then it'll bring up a list of all the emulators that you can get ROMs on. So we're going to scroll down till we get to Sony PlayStation, second to last. We're going to click on that. And then it's going to direct us to the next page, which is very nice because it has top 25 downloads, top 25 rated, and browse by letter. So we're going to browse by letter for Legend of Dragoon, the game that we are getting. I hope it's under the L and not the T, but I, I'm pretty sure it's under the L. Yep, there it is. Legend of Dragoon. So... There's different discs, so let me go ahead and click this one. I think that this is the first disc, but I'll go ahead and check. I was right, this is disc 1, and as you can see, it's a very nice page. It has two screenshots of the actual game, the size of the file, how many times it's been downloaded, and its rating. So that's a pretty good rating. And when you scroll down to the bottom, there's going to be a download file button, as you can see right here. We're going to click on that to download the file. Now. You'll know that it's downloading because we got Safari Download Enabler and at the top it shows the amount of megabytes downloaded per the amount of megabytes to be downloaded. So when that's done downloading, I'll be back and we can continue on the video. Downloading, you'll get a screen like this. Now, if you've watched my previous videos, you'll see that I usually tell you to click Open In and the three dots with the parentheses around them. Now, Safari Download Enabler was updated so that now you search through Finder. So you click on Finder, and usually it'll start you around here, in VAR Mobile. Now, I like this update a lot because it kind of shows you where you're putting the ROM instead of just typing it in. So, you'll be here at VAR Mobile, you're going to click on Media, scroll down, ROMs, PSX, and then save and it's going to copy the file into that directory so we're going to go home and into ifile ifile shall load if it is willing to load fast enough okay and when you open ifile you would usually be here as you can see it looks just like finder so you're going to go from var moment media ROMs, TSX, and we'll scroll down, and as you can see, the Legend of Dragoon is there. So, you're going to click on that, then we're going to click on Zip Viewer. It's going to load the contents. This takes 2-5 to five minutes, so I'll be back when it is done. 
and when it is done loading the contents you'll get a screen like this. So what you're going to want to do is click on the dot bin file just in my, as I am doing. As you can see it highlights it in blue and there is a red check mark on the left. So this is the only dot bin file so we're going to go ahead and click on the bottom right with the box with the arrow pointing up. Then it will ask you to extract the file and of course we are. Once again, this will take 2-5 to five minutes, so I'll be back when it's done. Okay, so this time you know that it will be done extracting the file, well because the prompt will fade away, and also because the highlight and the check mark will be gone. So just go ahead and click done, we will redirect you back to the PSX folder, and when we scroll down you can see Legend of Dragoon Disk 1.bin is there. So. When you're done extracting the file, you can go ahead and delete the disk one. And if you're noticing that it is not emptying out the space, as you can see, I updated and I still have 516 megabytes. It's because you have to empty the trash. So go ahead and click on the trash and empty it. So the trash was successfully emptied. And now when I update it, you can see that it is still the same. I'm just kidding. Usually it takes a while. And there you go. See, 805.2 megabytes. And also, if you would like to edit the name, you can go ahead and do so right here. So, all you have to worry about is that you make sure that, oops, you make sure, as you can see here, the dot bin is connected to the last character in the name. So, just make sure that that is like that. And, of course, you need to keep the dot bin. So I'm going to go ahead and change the name to The Legend of Dragoon. So when I click done, it will be down by the T now because I started with the T. And there it is. The Legend of the Dragoon, this one. Okay, so now we can go ahead and play the game. But before, always make sure that the PSX for all is not open in the multitasking bar. So if it is, then go ahead and kill it as I just did. And then you can go and open PSX Raw and the ROM game where will be in the PSX Raw app and 100% playable. And if I scroll down to the T, the Legend of Dragoon disc one dot bin. I'm going to put portrait in no sound so you guys can see it. And as you can see it's working. The Sony boot logo has just appeared. And next up, next up will be the PlayStation boot logo. And there it is. Then the game will run. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching and here's a couple of videos you might enjoy. At the top left I have Final Fantasy 7 on your iDevice. Basically a video where I show you how to get Final Fantasy 7 on PSX for all. Below that I have how to get ROMs on PSX for all. A general video on how to get games on PSX for all. Below that I have my review and gameplay of the game I just showed you how to get. Legend of Dragoon. And at the top right, if you click that green subscribe button, it would be much appreciated and you'll get updated on my newest videos and other cool stuff.